Hey guys, welcome back to another quick video. Um, so, as you may have read from the title, I left NixOS, and in this video, I kind of just want to explain why. It wasn't a bad distribution, but it didn't work out, and the reason that is, is it's not FHS compliant. So, what that is, is file system hierarchy compliant, and, uh, of course, it can't be because of how it's built. Immutable distributions are not FHS compliant. They can't be, because FHS compliancy does not allow immutability. But that didn't work for me, because some applications that needed to be uh, needed to run on an FHS compliant system just wouldn't work on NixOS. There are ways around it, but I couldn't figure them out. And it was just too much of a hassle, so I switched. And I actually did more than switch. So <clears throat> I moved back to Endeavor OS. And I didn't just move back to Endeavor OS. I actually made Endeavor OS reproducible. And the way I did this is I used a tool that I made called Dister. And... I'll probably make another video on this, but basically what Dister does is I can uh, edit, so I can edit um, my package list and stuff, so these are all the packages I have installed, and this is configured in Toml, and this is in the Dister file, and I even have like flat pack support and stuff, and I have like per machine config support too so I can also set packages for each of my machines but not for the global config and yeah long story short it's just a tool for bringing reproducible uh, reproducibility to any distribution and it's made in rust and like a few commands so like distro gen list I can list all my generations so you can see I've got commit messages and stuff and I'll make I'll make a video about this later on too. But yeah, it's honestly a pretty nice tool. Um but yeah, I left NixOS and one of the main reasons that made me want to leave because of no FHS compliancy is I'm making a game and I'm just going to pull down some changes too so I can show you the uh newest thing. I made a game and on NixOS, it just wouldn't work, um, and I'm still working on the game, but NixOS, since um, it's not FHS, uh, FHS compliant, uh, Bevy, which is the engine that I'm using, just would completely crash, so um, I had no choice but to move back to another distribution, or to do all this shell.nix stuff, which... People have done with Bevy, but I couldn't figure out how to do it. Um, so I just moved back to Endeavor. So, yeah. Also, I'm the kind of person who's addicted to writing package builds. So, but yeah. Um, I just wanted to make this quick video to explain like why I moved back to NixOS and what the problems I were having, like stuff like that. So. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this quick little um, uh, follow-up like about my NixOS journey. It ended. I'm not going to take down my configuration, so if you wanted to uh, still use my configuration and look at it and stuff, you can. It's still on my uh, GitLab, and I will leave this in the description so um it's nix os dot uh dash config so it will always be up um and yeah um i hope you enjoyed this uh subscribe to my youtube channel i'm almost at 700 subscribers now um follow me on odyssey too I will have all these links down in the description. Uh, they will actually be on my website, which um, basically you go to my website, link in the description, or just go to oglo.dev, O-G-L-O dot D-E-V. It's a very short URL. And all my links are right here. And the reason I'm going to link you to my website instead of the links directly is in case I update any of these links.
But yeah, I've got my GitLab repos, my Codeberg repos, my YouTube channel, Odyssey channel, Discord server, Matrix server, Revolt server, and I also have a tutorials button, and this is just for stuff like random tutorials. But yeah, um, I also have a Mastodon at um, Oglo the Nerd at Mastodon.social, but I don't really use Mastodon, so uh, yeah. But anywho, see you. I hope you enjoyed this video, um, and <laughs> without any further stalling, uh, goodbye. See ya.